What's up guys? This is the Roofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. Mm -hmm. And so to pick up where we left off, we have attacked the uh, enemy here at Cuba and we're trying to draw the troops away from the east. So I'm hoping we can fight this, we can defend against this uh, Sally from the Dutch and draw more enemy troops uh, into battle from the east. At least that would be, that would be a perfect outcome. That would be perfect. But it remains to be seen if the AI will elect to play ball. But will he will push on? And let's have a look. So Actually just a second everyone, I sort need to just need to check something. Then I'm back. Right. So we're expecting an enemy sally. So let's spread some guns about. Got a lot of Indian infantry guards in this unit. We've already deployed two, and there's a third unit. Nice bugged artillery unit. Okay. Deploy my Sikh Musketeers on the right. Whole line of melee infantry, which I'm just going to spread out. Good. Cavalry hide in the woods, general in the centre. Okay. Because they got more. I think they got mortars. That's oh, foot artillery. Okay, in which case, then we're going to go on the offensive. You men push that flank. Islamic swordsmen, give them some cover. You men also push the flank. I mean, the cannons just. Make me an entrance into the fort, I suppose. Yeah, they're counter batter well not counter battering us. Yeah, make me a way in. So we can storm the fort and take it for myself. That's not all your staff, is it? That's a very small number. Okay, some of you are over here. There you are. I mean, are you sure you want to charge? I mean, you can charge my Hindi musketeers if you like. Okay. Just keep my main line advancing. I'm not so bothered about... Positioning, that's the remainder of his star. Whoops. soon to make our breach. I mean, once we get in here, we can secure the walls ourselves and use the guns against, use the enemy guns against them. Maybe the enemy's woken up and realise they actually don't want to just cede the initiative to us.
you need to get you need to get into the melee. We've got the mass here to just overwhelm. So let's use it. You men cover the front gate. You men both hit that unit of buccaneers. Surrounded this infantry on the flank, we're seeing musketeers. Actually, they're losing a lot of lot of troops quite quickly. Let's knock out these West India Company infantry quick. And pivot, bring my cavalrymen around to the rear. Go. You men fall back. You guys push up and secure a firing position against the edge of the wall. Oh, melee fight. Melee fight. Get over here. Cavalry charge. Get in here, pikemen. Ah, some men have come around. You men form square, get my horsemen inside. Bring these men over here. You men attack the militia. Get my general over here. This is going to be very messy. But it's going to be beautiful all the same. my Indian Guardsmen, get in there. They don't shoot the guns, kill them. We're about to get charged in the rear, or shot in the rear and no nothing else. go. The route becomes unstoppable. Who's that back there? Put artillery. Go get him. wasn't pretty but it was done push my camels up the flank against the 14th regiment this mighty trumpeter here come the camels shoot at them. No. Nope. Oh, they're down the camel. Follow up charge for support. You're going to wipe out those gunners pretty simply. There we go. Get the men to follow up this charge with infantry support. 
Well, they're shattered. Keep attacking them. Huzzah! Nice. So I lost a few more men there, like, more, few more men there than I would have liked. But the objective was met. Herbert Hogart. There we go. So these are troops that were embarked aboard the fleet to the east. That's exactly what I wanted to see. I wanted to see them redeploy that army against my attack against the city. So for now, oh, is Russia's Prussia going to take Copenhagen? Hopefully, that means they might push into uh, Scandinavia. Oh, go away, Portugal. They just don't have the strength to stop our fleet. I mean, they're going to go. They're going to chase down a small little stack of fifths, but don't worry, Portugal. There's plenty more ships where they came from. Oh, you cute. You got the trade point for one turn. Till this fleet comes over and messes you up. Ooh, workers on strike in Mysore. Bad news. So you men get out. You men get in. So. Come on, Anmal Bandaru. So occupy the trade post until I can get. I mean, that's a bit hefty for a trade fleet. Something like that's quite a good pattern. You have quite a good set of ships. You can go out there and replace them on station. There we go. Okay, we've got to don't forget to keep investing in our economy. You. Hmm. You maybe push up to here because we have an opportunity to drive up into. Oh, I thought we were at war with Russia. Oh, maybe not. So you men are ready to move. You need to stay where you are, really, because uh, they're not happy about the situation. Have we freed the slaves yet? Six turns. Not bad. Global Trading Company, Iron Workshops, and Mashad. Just keep the economy popping, keep our military upgrades going. So over here in the Americas, yeah, so they're raiding our Karas near Punda, but we're not so bothered about that yet. We're not interested in attacking. We want their army here to come to their defence. Apart from that, though, that's pretty good. Yeah, probably don't need to do anything about that fleet just yet. Right, okay. So from a tech perspective... Yeah, everything's going pretty good. So let's hit N10. My agents are on the march. <laughs> to be honest though, now might be the time to try and get peace with the Dutch. They probably won't take it because they're very powerful. But we've managed to take their major territories in the Caribbean, and that's the only real targets we have against the Dutch right now anyway. Either way, let's push our um, push our armies that are currently being recruited up to the new front line against the Ottomans, because we will be wanting to invade them. New town emerges, Yazd in Persia. Yeah, you can have another aircraft workshop. Construction upgraded, S for hands fortified, good. 
more industry has been built. Fleet arrives here. Good. So you men take position. You men trade while this fleet comes back to India. You got some fourth rates that have been being built for this navy. You men have your marching orders. Uh, okay, so, 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 so. Cuba. Cuba's ours. The Dutch have been thoroughly trounced. Peace. They demand 26 grand for peace. And they want... Yeah, why not? It gets them off our backs and we get more. We still have a good amount of cash. So let's build... A sloop here and let's ooh, probably want an, inf uh, an infantry unit to garrison Holguin. Let's build you into a Thacker's mansion. Good. Okay, so that's a good little empire we've carved out here. Any troops they recruit, the enemy or our allies recruit down here will be. Yeah, just native troops, which we aren't so bothered about. Let's upgrade the roads. Uh, church school? No, let's get rid of that. You are going to want to be good Islamic people. So you're probably going to build a, probably going to build a madrasa here. 13 hundo in cash. Not a lot we can realistically do with that. Yeah, can upgrade a barracks here in Calcutta. Awesome. So our income's now up to 47 grand a turn, which is pretty huge. Yeah, soon the war against the Ottomans will begin. I mean, if Spain... Okay, great. They're shuffling troops. If Spain declares on us, that would be kind of perfect. We would take New Andalusia. Russian Navy is on the march, though. There's an Ottoman army on the march. <coughs> Prussia's taking Copenhagen. I need more troops in the front line. I need a lot more troops to break into a advanced and developed Europe. Okay. Let's keep my port upgrades going. Especially in towns like Esfahan, because they are very, very wealthy regions. Okay, let's hop up to the Americas. I mean, have I, have I reached the point where I want to start dropping global trading companies in the Americas? Can't even recruit anything really here either. Let's upgrade you to a madrasa. Sell one of my sloops over to Holguin. Yeah, this commercial port, I haven't upgraded you to a top level port yet, although I can't. Ah, port of Calcutta. Global Trading Company. So, in terms of our income. Yes, our tax income still doesn't match our uh, expenses. We really, the trade is is our is we are being relying we are relying on that trade to boost our coffers, which is great. But once we get involved in a great war against a major power, that's not going to be quite so simple.
Okay, so you men are your good fleet. You're needed just to bottle up the, the Ottomans just to make sure they don't get up to trouble. Yeah, you can act as the West Coast Guard fleet for now. Four more turns till we free the slaves. Then we need to build steam engine and power loom. I need to get my I want my economy to be on top form when we invade Europe. Ideally, I'd like to see a major war develop within Europe. Either against, or either either between Russia and Prussia, or, well, just someone. What well, the landing in Norway. Sweden will soon no longer exist. It's a lot of Ottoman units, but I wonder how wonder how much in, in how good condition they are, they are in. Right. It's going to be very interesting invading Europe. Construction report. Weaver's Cottage updates. Okay, we can tax you now. Public servant dies. No! So who, which one is it? Can't really tell. Four star, plus one happiness, plus one treasury. Oh, so he's neutral for treasury. So he's four star basic, neutral for treasury. I mean, you're plus one army. And again, so is this guy, but you have a mistress. Okay, you, you're just, just a slight upgrade. You increase the happiness of my nobility. Apart from that, though, I think everyone's probably going to be as good as they can get. Okay. I mean, start building some global trading companies in the Americas, I suppose. Because realistically, who are we at war with now? Portugal, and that's it. And Portugal currently has no territories anywhere that we're interested in attacking. So if I were to attack New Spain, that would put us potentially in conflict with Spain. Spain, but Spain's allies with us. That would New Spain is the is the ideal target. Well, I suppose the Ottomans are also an ideal target because we're marching troops up to the front. I'm just waiting for these armies to get up to the front line. Okay, I'm gonna need another army. So let's recruit a unit of Sipahi, a unit of Hindu warriors. Let's start that recruitment going. 43,000 a turn, so yeah, the Ottomans have been blockaded by someone. We're gonna get a big financial hit. From declaring war on the Ottomans because we're going to lose that valuable, that very valuable trade income. You demand trade agreements. Oh no, just trade. Just, just trade. Not fair enough. I'm not giving you technologies. No way. Sweden's pushing it in towards Sweden. Prussia's attacking, pushing it towards Sweden. I should say. Yeah, see, there's a lot of Ottoman troops, so when we actually invade or declare on the Ottomans, we got a lot of stuff to deal with. So they've brought that army from the Americas back to the homeland. I mean, Ardabil will be easy to take, Baghdad will be easy to take. 
It'll be that main push in towards Ankara, though. Swedish scholars are on the move. The Greeks are building up a mighty navy. Seed planting drill done good. So good upgrades. Let's upgrade. Vanna's roads. Let's just lean into our trade economy for now. Commercial basin, good, good, good. Okay, so. I need to lose this levy. Recruit a general. And let's get building. 24 pound a foot. Mortars just aren't that great. You get a unit of Gurkhas. I've already got a Hindu warrior unit, although. Islamic swordsman. Let's get a unit of war elephants. Because it's certainly looking like I won't ever get howitzers, like true howitzers. So quicklime is not going to be on my docket. Seen a lot of artillery and a lot of melee infantry to try and equalise the score. Oh, you'll get almost about to get rid of your a bunch of unhappiness there once we liberate the slaves. Let's keep on recruiting up to the north. Cause we'll, I mean, we got we get a lot of it. We get Israeli up here, which is that's quite a good standard infantry unit. It's not brilliant, but it's not terrible either. Yeah, you're on the way. You're still on the way. Good, because these two are two well, got three armies to push on Baghdad and to hold some of these key bridges. And I've got one army to push north and towards Ardabil. Okay. Actually, it's Russia that took Norway. That's quite the superpower they're building. Oh! Okay. So, Sweden and Spain are calling in. They're calling in the biggies. Sweden refused to join us. Ottoman and Spain have joined us against Britain. <laughs> So they suddenly went, oh no! Well, very well. We've got our new enemy now. Britain. That means 13 colonies are now a target. Oh, there's a rebellion. Rebellion in Ankara. They got problems. Very well. One of the armies I'm raising actually may sail to the Americas instead. So we can take the British British possessions there. And Sweden didn't join us, so granted they could I suppose they couldn't. Because <laughs> that would just invite another British army to sail and invade their shores. Otherwise though, we now have a new enemy. Trade agreement cancelled with Britain. Yep, fine. So these armies are going to push up to the front with the Ottomans. But you, good sir, and your recruitment will be pushing to attack or attacking the Caribbean. Okay, so... What's the bet? Their army is based in Nassau. 
If I were to attack Nassau, where would it be? Oh god! That's pretty handy. If I attack the British, then that Dutch army will be teleported back to uh, back to Europe. No, there's their fleet. Avoid the f avoid the action. Upgrade the dry dock. So thirteen colonies didn't join them in their treacherous action, but we can push up and take. Newfoundland and probably push into this part of the world here because 13 colonies oh, we're very friendly with them nah, it's, that's tricky one more turn till you get until we've liberated the slaves hmm, okay some good troop recruitment here in Persia. Okay, maybe attacking, maybe that British thing might not necessarily have opened up as many doors as we would have liked. I want to see where you go. But actually, that's, yeah, let's go. Let's deploy our navy to go and attack your ships, because that's. should be doable. <laughs> but I'm terrible. Let's go get him and destroy that army. Any good ships, sort of fourth rate and up. We actually know we'll probably claim less than that, actually, because then any lower quality ships can be deployed into our trade nodes. Okay, straight at them. Cool, so I'll chop the recording when we're closer into the action. So, see you in a second, everyone. And here we go. So we've started opening up on Drake, the war galleon. Ultimately, Superb is the strongest ship in their fleet. And uh, the carry Mustafa is sailing forward. The rest of my fleet is all... Well, is joining them. We'll be joining them in due course. Carry Mustafa because it's losing, losing men to the fire of superb. No, oh, no, the heave two. Come on. My broadside killed three men. Her broadsides have killed twelve. I mean, everyone can engage the rest of the British fleet as their guns are brought to bear. My morale is already worse than theirs. And they're already wavering! Look at that! I thought the whole point was to go broadside to broadside with ships, but apparently it seems like every time I do that, the enemy's fire at will capabilities just outstrips my... My strips a bit outstrips my ship's ability to do much of anything. You're going to sail up towards a stern to try and rake her. We're also going to sail down towards this area to deal to fight superb. Yep, yeah, there goes the carry Mustafa. Chain shots at the ready to try and dismast superb. Fire as she bears. Not a sausage. Carry Mustafa has returned.
I can if I can angle this just right. Yeah, carry on must fast still ready to go. Okay. Cause yeah, if I can angle this right, I can keep engaging Argo. Argo's lost a mast. So if you guys fire your broadside now. Kara, this ship's going to go down. It's about to get isolated and destroyed. Kara must fire on fire, so fire it will off. Need to pound broadside into her at close range. Side in, reload. Fourth rate ship of the line. So everyone except for you. Get over here pronto. You're being picked out by lots of their smaller ships at the edge of their fleet. But obviously my ship's the one that wavers. Bringing your guns to bear. No, see, I hate it when they do that. They just come back from wavering just long enough to upset me. It just kind of feels like my broadsides don't do anything. Their broadsides are just really damaging my ships. Destroy good hope. Take out that ship. Make good speed. Everyone just make... Make all speed ahead of the column. So you still got Royal Oak at the rear, a third rate. Sloop of War, Galleon, Galleon. My fourth rate's losing against a, a, a very damaged fourth rate ship of the line. Full sail, you scurvy dog. I hate when I read when I. Maneuver. When I maneuver, everything slows down loads. It's like, ugh. Yeah, but doesn't that feel like my... My broadsides do a lot less damage than theirs does. Even for like ships. Fire at will. Yeah, look, it's an ambuscade privateer got absolutely whacked by a broadside and it lost one crewman, and that's it. You're gonna be annoying to, to fight. I'm gonna wanna 
chain shot the bejesus out of you guys. I try and sell two of my fifth rates up to try cut them, cut the head off of that problem off of the bat. See, good hope still got the same amount of guns as it had way back when. What's the carry must fare? You're gonna sink anyway. I need to get this fifth rate in ahead of the broil out to try and uh, chain shot. To try and give, get some chain shot against her and hobble her masts. Otherwise, she's going to sweep my my fleet from the sea. But then again, you, superb, may stop that from happening. But yeah, look, look how knackered my f my battle line is against a significantly weaker fleet. Just because they get these annoying boosts. Oh, God. This is why I like sailing in with top tier fleets, so I don't bother. See if I can park a fifth ray in amongst. Parking a fifth ray in amongst your fleet will do any good. Eventually, they will start slamming broadsides into the, this fifth ray. The only hope I got is to try and knock some sails down. Otherwise... Yeah, to be honest, I think I might just... Because look, this fifth rate is knackered, 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 knackered. Yeah, you know what? Book it. This isn't going to work. Ha! <laughs> you blew her. You blew her. Yeah, just book it. Because they're doing too much damage and I can't stop them. See, look, look, look. Just a bunch of really good ships against a bunch of not very good ones. And my ships just do no damage. And even then, I'm definitely on board with the idea that it's, I'm not the best naval tactician, but come on. Some of these ships were just in terrible condition, and my guys just can't do anything. That's why I only sail around with top tier fleets, because... Like this guy, Good Hope, is still sailing around. With 15 guns after all the fire that poured into her did nothing. Ugh. Ridiculous. That's why I don't like the Navy side in Hard Heart. Because by any objective measure, these guys should have been done for, but for whatever reason they weren't. Oh, God, the Navy side sucks. In On normal mode, it's not a problem. But on hard mode, where they get these bonuses, apparently they seem to work pretty well. And it really didn't help that one of my ships elected to try and... Oh, the light galley's chasing after us. It really didn't help that our one of our ships elected to route through the enemy fleet, but whatever. But then again, that's probably my fault anyway. Ah, oh, yeah. This is why I don't like the Navy side, the naval battle in hard mode. Because my ships should have been doing a good amount of damage. One of my fourth rates gets... becomes surrendered and gets broken in a one-on-one -on -one gunfight against a knackered fourth rate. That shouldn't happen. It just shouldn't. But yeah, if you ever guys wonder, guys ever wonder why I don't play the, uh, don't do the naval battles, it's because of stuff like this. Because that's just ridiculous. 
There you go. We're out of full sail, not it? Not at sm smaller units of sail. Yeah, this is why I build big fleets and let the computer figure it out. Because if I auto resolve this battle, it would have been a win. But for whatever reason, my my good ships can't win a one on one fight against their knackered ships. Brilliant. <laughs> Every so often it's good to remind myself why I don't do, don't like the naval side on hard mode. It says decisive defeat. It's not so bad. We've got plenty of cash. I'll just build a proper war fleet. They didn't capture... Well, actually, they might have captured one of our ships. Yep. Don't bother fighting unless you've got the best ships you can build. So how many turns do I get my dry dock? Four turns. Alright, let's build some fourth rates. Ultimately, it's not an important army to defeat. Not compared to fighting here. If they want to sail and attack Nassau or defend Nassau, that'd be great. Let's upgrade this to a Subras Palace. And over in India. Keep building up your fleet. build some good ships because one of these fleets needs to make their way over to the Caribbean there we go so you got down to a thousand 40 grand next turn it's not bad yes, everyone keep on pushing up but once I get rid of the some of the unhappiness issues around slavery. Yeah, there they go. They're going to land a troop, an army somewhere. That's fine. I've got an army in Jamaica. No, Cuba now. Just for just such a purpose. So we've been attacked by the garrison, seemingly. And the balance... So this is something else I've had pointed out to me. People have gone, look at the balance of power. Why did you fight that battle? Well, according to the balance of power, it's a... Apparently, they're slightly, slightly the favourite. With this army against this army, they are slightly favourite. So let's do it. And kill them. So they've sailed to attack Antigua. We can sail our, our garrison force at Cuba across to defend it. This is why it's good to have ports garrisoned, because we can sail an army over there before they take our territory. So let's... Build a reasonable front line of infantry. Well, ultimately, we don't really need to do too much craziness. There we go. You march towards us with a misplaced air of confidence. Poor 26th Regiment is just getting hammered. Because Obashi go wide, Native Lats just go left. The War Elephants and General's Bodyguard, you are probably going to be surplus to requirements. African Musketeers, African Musketeers, they're like militia. Well, they are, they're a militia unit, but their stats are similar to colonial militia. souls they're gonna hit my line they're gonna rout and my cavalry is going to tear them a new one make ready and fire
You may have to watch out. Okay, they're not engaging my Gurkhas. You men get one last set of volleys off, and then my Gurkhas will charge them in the flank. Charge them now. This is when. Charge! Cease fire the guns. Yeah, they just routed, so my Gurkhas are going to hit them. You men pushing in attack the 19th. Yep, Gurkhas have gone in. The rear of the West India Company infantry. The Sea Musketeers have hit the other flank. Yep, there they go. 50 50 that. More so in their favour. Should have watched out there, that could have been tricky. <laughs> and I wouldn't necessarily call it a heroic victory either. Yeah. Lost a lot of men. Uh, shoot to intercept. Now let's see what you're going to do. Good. They've all gone into the city, so I can attack them and bottle them up, and then that'll prevent them from fleeing. I think the Ottomans are aware that something's up, but they can't leave the garrison unoccupied too much, because they're... Well, to be honest, now that, that might mean it's an ideal opportunity to attack, because they can't afford to move too many troops away, lest they... Uh, Allow a successful rebellion. I suppose they need to be careful of the fact that they, the enemy, may conduct an amphibious landing and land on the mainland, which I really don't want. No, I think as much as it's going to hurt us economically, we have to attack. Which also means their territories in South America become uh, options to liberate as well. Got an imam in Hyderabad. He's a really good imam. Let's get him up towards Georgia. Abolition of slavery. Hooray! So instead of going on to secular humanism... Let's get on to classical economics for the wealth bonuses there. Or do I get you straight on to the likes of steam engine? No, well, classical economics will do. Okay, commercial basin becomes a global trading company. Commercial basin becomes a global trading company. I mean, when the Industrial Revolution kicks off, it's going to be staggering. Uh, okay. So this fleet, minus the brig. Pick up some extra firepower. Second, third, third, third. Seven thousand. So. We can take this navy over here. Build another sloop. New men embark, so I'm sure we can leave Cuba. Yeah, if we exempt them from tax, we can leave them. So you men embark. Recruit some Tufangi, and this army. See, it's not they've not got complete hold over the island. We can land an army. Uh, 
And you men can sail back to Holguin. You men can reinforce. And let's attack the Bahamas. Well, actually, eh. hmm. I want to attack them sooner rather than later, just to get rid of that Dutch army to the south. Because if I attack Nassau, because they have no, uh, they have no military access to my territory, they will teleport back to Europe. Then we don't have to deal with them. Whereas if I siege them, there's an opportunity for the Dutch to enter the war on Britain's side and complicate the capture of Nassau. And there's even an opportunity, I suppose, I could go for bah the Bahamas. Yeah, well, I was about to say make peace, but that's not going to happen. Okay, the guns. Bombard from range. My melee infantry are going to secure the town. Hindi musketeers on the right. Sikhs and Kizilbashi on the left. Give them a bit of support on either flank. I suppose I want to make my melee block run just the same as the rest. New men push the right. Good, alright, just a second guys, I need to shut that window. It's not coming through the, the uh, microphone, but it's coming through my ears. It's down building work going on. Force them to do battle on the left. There we go. So we're going to break some of the colonial militia. These dervishes are going to cleave their way through the African musketeers. Hmm, looks like they're actually determined to make this a, a good old melee fight. So my native lances smash the colonial militia. And my elephants will follow up. There we go. Is that militia unit going to break? It is. Good, so the right flank can push up. E men are all engaging the 68th. E men push up to make sure you're not doing anything too dangerous. Gurkhas are cleaving their way through this infantry unit. my lancers to attack their cavalry. Push the infantry up. Oh, they're surrounding my Gurkhas.
push up. Gunners focus on the 81st out on the flank. These buccaneers are counter charging. Okay, the buccaneers are firing pistols into the rear. We killed the enemy general. Get my men in. The Gurkhas are wavering. So one of you needs to turn around and deal with these buccaneers. You men spin around to deal with that militia unit. You're going to be sandwiched between these Gurkhas that you've been engaging this whole time and a unit of Hindu Musketeers. There we go. Left flank's crumbled. Some volleys from the 47th will see off the 81st. There they go. There's one unit of Colonial Militia right at the back. As is tradition. There we go. There's the last few holdouts. These dervishes charge the African musketeers after they see all their brothers in arms fleeing before them. Shaken. Oh, there's a unit back here still fighting. And here, you men form up. Gunners engage. You men march on the 66th and deal with them. You men reload and engage the 40th. These buccaneers are going to fall. There they go. You men don't have the minerals to stand up to that sort of punishment. Nope, there you go. So to plead, you of Hindu warriors have hit the line first. But they're wavering already. Oh, then they're shattered. Good. Excellent. Real messy, but a good battle nonetheless. And that is the British territory of the Bahamas secured. Bye bye Dutchman. Boop. There they go. Let's repair the chambers. Plenish our troops. Now the question is, do I try peace? Yes. So the reason why I was tempted to do that is because that means this British army here is now up here in Moose Factory. And I just noticed we have a possible trade slot with the Spanish. Ah. Hi, Greece. Ah. Fair enough. Okay, but at least that's Nassau secured. Uh, okay, we want to build a sloop to occupy the port. How's the infrastructure? Good. Read the madrasa here in Cuba because I helped get rid of that religious unrest quite dramatically. Good stuff. Okay, so let's hit end turn. So now our plan to push against the Ottomans is back on. That's going to be our next target. Yeah, 
here they are aware. They seem to know something's up. I wonder if it's all the troops on their borders. But yeah, it looks like they don't want to leave uh, Ankara. Well, maybe they're being raided as well. Looks like there's a lot of troops. Looks like there's some burnt buildings nearby. Well, I think if we don't attack them, someone else will. So let's make that happen. Yeah. No. I'm not going to ally with you, Sweden. Oh, it looks like... Ooh, is, is, Prussia, is Prussia taking Norway? So is, is Prussia at war with Russia? Because it definitely was Russia that had it. But now it looks like Prussia's got it. Portugal wants peace, finally. Got nothing against you, P Portugal. Just leave me alone. Yeah, there's the. So that's the reason why I think we should push the Ottomans now. Sickly admiral. Upgrade the sugar warehouse. It is going to be a, a, a nasty hit financially. So yeah, it looks like they're rebelling across the board, actually. Don't call in our allies. So Neroon is occupied by a ragtag force. 44,000, actually. Our, that's not impacted us. Well, I suppose they were, always getting block they were always getting blockaded anyway, so we weren't actually losing that much money. But you, good sir, Mr. Yamredi, push up to Ardabil, demand the surrender of the city. Oh, uh, he, got, he got hit in the coffee house, and that slowed him down. Push Baghdad. You men, push Baghdad. You men. Hmm. And where to put you? Maybe to the north. Mr. Kadali, you also need to join the war. And Esfahan. Get two of you, get two Fellaheen. Get a general's bodyguard, get a lance unit, get a horseman unit. Then we'll have some more buildings built. Good. Okay, then to the south. Your Majesty. You've nearly finished. Oh, your military engineer school's two turns away. You're waiting on a Gurkha unit from the north. Probably want to go for a. Another Hindi Musketeer unit, and then you'll be ready. You will be ready to deploy. So we've made peace with Portugal. But the war with the Ottomans is on. So let's also go over to here. Where we can take Sloop. This army, get them embarked. Attack Paramaribo. Demand the surrender of the territory, because there's no one here. It's not been fully upgraded anyway. Then advance out of the territory. No, we can't advance out of the territory. They really don't like us. Repair the port. Get some of these buildings upgraded on the safe side of the town. Good. Uh, where's our... Our imam. Still converting. Uh... Or Royal, but that won't take too much longer. Upgrade the commercial basin to a global trading company. You're replenishing. Good. Okay. Everything is progressing, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode, and we're going to end that episode on attacking Nerun and taking it from the Ottoman Empire. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the start of the war against the Ottoman Empire. Cheers, everyone.